Argyle Robertson pupils are bilateral small pupils that reduce in size when the patient focuses on a near object, but do not constrict when exposed to bright light. They are a highly specific sign of neurosyphilis, and might also be a sign of diabetic neuropathy. In general, pupils that are uroe accommodate but do not react to uro are said to show light near dissociation that is, it's the absence of a meiotic reaction to light, both direct and consensual with the preservation of a meiotic reaction to near stimulus. A video of AR pupils and light near dissociation is available here, AR pupils are extremely uncommon in the developed world. There is continued interest in the underlying pathophysiology, but the scarcity of cases makes ongoing research difficult. History In the early 20th century, William John Addy described a second type of pupil that could a euro accommodate but not react a euro addy a euro unregistered trademark s tonic pupil is usually associated with a benign peripheral neuropathy, not with syphilis. When penicillin became widely available in the 1940s, the prevalence of AR pupils decreased dramatically. AR pupils are now quite rare. A patient whose pupil a euro o accommodates but does not react to euro almost always has a tonic pupil, not an AR pupil. In the 1950s, Lewin Feld distinguished between the two types of pupils by carefully observing the exact way in which the pupils constrict with near vision. The near response in AR pupils is brisk and immediate. The near response in tonic pupils is slow and prolonged. Pathophysiology the two different types of near response are caused by different underlying disease processes. Addy's pupil is caused by damage to peripheral pathways to the pupil. The pathophysiologic mechanism which produces an argyle robertson pupil is unclear. Studies have failed to demonstrate a focal localizing lesion. Research has implicated the rostral midbrain in the vicinity of the cerebral aqueduct of the third ventricle as the most likely region of damage. A lesion in this area would involve efferent pupillary fibers on the dorsal aspect of the adenowestful nucleus while sparing the fibers associated with the response to near, which lie slightly more ventrally. The exact relationship between syphilis and the two types of pupils is not known at the present time. The older literature on AR pupils did not report the details of pupillary constriction that are necessary to distinguish AR pupils from tonic pupils. Tonic pupils can occur in neurosyphilis. It is not known whether neurosyphilis itself can cause tonic pupils, or whether tonic pupils in syphilis simply reflect a coexisting peripheral neuropathy. Thompson and Cardin summarize the present view. The evidence supports a midbrain cause of the AR pupil, provided one follows Lewin Felder Euro unregistered trademark S definition of the AR pupil as small pupils that react very poorly to light and yet seem to retain a normal pupillary near response that is definitely not tonic. To settle the question of whether the AR pupil is of central or peripheral origin, it will be necessary to perform iris transillumination in a substantial number of patients who have a pupillary light near dissociation, perhaps in many parts of the world. Paranoid syndrome. A third cause of light near dissociation is paranoid syndrome, also called dorsal midbrain syndrome. This uncommon syndrome involves vertical gaze palsy associated with pupils that are euro accommodate but do not react. The causes of paranoid syndrome include brain tumors, multiple sclerosis, and brainstem infarction. Due to the lack of detail in the older literature and the scarcity of AR pupils at the present time, it is not known whether syphilis can cause paranoid syndrome. It is not known whether AR pupils are any different from the pupils seen in other dorsal midbrain lesions. See also, Addy syndrome, anisocoria, cycloplegia, Marcus Goon pupil, meiosis, paranoid syndrome, syphilis, references, Kawasaki A physiology, assessment, and disorders of the pupil. Kerr Opinothalmal 10, 6. 394 to 400, 1999, Thompson H.S., Cardiner H. Irene Lewinfeld, Ph.D. Physiologist of the Pupil. J. Neuroophthalmal 26, 2, 139 to 148, 2006, Dr. Christopher Dent and Dr. Andrew Gerwood, The Argyle Robertson Pupil, Fletcher W. A., Sharp J. A. Tonic Pupils in Neurosyphilis. Neurology 36, 
1981 to Euro 92 doi 10.1212 WNL 36.2.188 PMIDA 3945389 R Thompson HS Cardinal H The Argyle Robertson pupil Journal of Neuroophthalmology 26 134 a Euro 8 doi 10.1097/0100002229710245.91 redirect url external links minus 1791688703 at notebook psjm the argyle robertson pupil J. Neural. Neurosurg. Psyche 8. 75. 1345. doi 10.1136/JNNP 2003.014225. PMCA 1739227. PMIDA 15314131A. Illustration at health-pictures.com. Illustration at mcoth.com